All right, hello everyone, and welcome to Valorant versus Avrit University Week Three ECAC Valorant Open Division matchup. Gonna get right into the first map in just a minute here. Looks like it's gonna be Bind, and I believe everyone is locked in for the Eagles. It's gonna be Cornflakes on Astra, Meech on Chamber, Frosty on Viper, Chris Rammers on Sova, and Johnny Fuego on Reyna. Select your agent. We'll be able to see the uh, Averett comp in just a minute. <laughs> Apologize ahead of time. I am probably only going to be able to stream the first game, maybe the first game and a half of the series, as we have a League of Legends match starting at 9.15 that I'm playing in. But uh, it's going to be Tezzy on oh, Sova, Jasmine James so on Chamber, Zadu on day. Jet, Diamond on Sky, and Solidity on Viper. So we'll see if the Eagles can pull off the upset here. Averett, the uh, clear favorites, if you look at the average ranks of the players on each team. Here. Well, Here. we'll see if Post is able to pull off the upset. Three ghosts coming out for the Eagles. Start off round one on bind offense. See what the Eagles got in their bag of tricks today. Johnny pushing up alone onto B site. Tezzy and Johnny get kills. Solidity trades one back. Frosty almost gets tagged by that recon bolt. It's a 4v3 now in favor of Averett. Ooh, Tezzy with a nice peek. One tap on Johnny. 4v2 now in favor of Averett. Oh, Meech gonna grab one though. Meech and Frosty are gonna both teleport away over towards B site. Oh. Diamond gets the tag onto Meech. Frosty only 14 health left. This is gonna be a tall order. And Diamond does find the kill in the end, and that's going to do it for round one. Averett's going to take it. Two kills for Diamond and Tezzy. And now the Eagle's going to be on a save round. They will die. Hopeless and free. Right here. Diamond's the uh, immortal player for Avra. It's going to be key for the Eagles this map to try to shut him down. There. Or pull a Sentinels and simply avoid him. Ooh, that was a great job sending out the blind. Then Johnny was looking away from it right as Diamond peeked out to catch him with the Spectre. And it's a 5v4 in favor of Avra. Solidity comes in from behind on the flank. And it's about to be a flawless here. Well, not if Cornflakes has anything to say about it, it does find the kill on Solidity. 
But Everett takes care of business there in round two. Now the Eagles should have some guns here. Should be a much more even match. Uh, much more even round this time. Let's see what they can do here. Shark Dart comes out. Doesn't tag anyone, though. Johnny also does a good job taking out the Recon Bolt. Recon Dart, I should say. Cornflakes pushing up here. It's entry on Astra. Nice job killing the dog. The the fox, I guess? I guess that's the fox. He was playing things slow and careful this time. Meech pushing up now with this Vandal. The Viper to pop or smoke. Looks like the Eagles might rotate off to B here. Cornflakes backing off as well. Did not like what they saw A. Eagles very grouped up right now. Pardon their issue. 30 seconds. Oh, nice blind by Johnny. He's going to allow him to get the kill onto Jesma. Zeagle's now pushing up onto B site. Chris Rammer's going to take out Diamond. That's a key kill for the Eagles. Ooh, Johnny caught reloading, though. Doesn't get killed, though. As the spike goes down, Johnny trying to watch two angles at once here. But Cornflakes. Waiting in the wings. It does find the kill on Solidity. Chris Rammers finds another one, and it's a 4v1 now. Zado, the last player standing for Averett, and Meech takes him down. And the Eagles cut the lead in half, 2-1. It's a very important round here. Averett's still looking very good in terms of uh, their economy. Eagles, if they lose this round, could potentially be on another save next round. Need to do well for themselves this round. Hopefully tie things up at 2-2. Two two. We'll see what they can do. Averett's probably going to have a little more firepower this round as well. Wow, that's a really early uh, Viper Pit coming out from Averett. Do you see someone in Hookah? Johnny pushing up aggressively. Blind is too far in front of him. That defines one, but Cornflakes trades one back, a 4v4. Nice job looking away from the blind, and Cornflakes is going to take out Diamond. Really, really good fundamentals here from the Eagles. Cornflakes showing off his flicking ability, looking away from that blind, and quickly coming back and grabbing that kill on Diamond. Eagles, uh, looks like the play is to rotate off and go towards A now. Cornflakes sitting in this Viper ultimate. Oh, does get caught by Solidity. And Eagle's now going to have to try to push through. This Viper smoke. Ooh, Tezzy going to find one on Johnny. As Frosty gets the plant down here. But now he's the last player standing on a 1v2. Oh, and they both peek him at the same time. Solidity with three on the round. <laughs> that's a funny animation. I've never seen that before. The mech. Look at that. Look at that thing. That's cool. I've never seen that before. I don't. Want to, I wonder what scene line that is. Well, Aver gonna take round four here. Go up three to one. And let's look at the economy here. Looks like the Eagles are still gonna be good, aside from maybe Frosty. Um. But a very important round here. If the Eagles lose here, um. They're going to be on a save, and then it's looking at 5-1 to one probably. Yeah, Frosty is going to go with the Spectre and Light Armor, so nearly a full buy. The Eagles really have to uh, make it happen this round, or they're going to be in for a world of hurt the next few rounds. Nice kill by Johnny to open things up 
on A site. Let's see if the Eagles just decide to push through or if they decide to rotate out. Solidity going to find a kill on Meech, though. And now it's a 4v4. Astra ult goes down on the site. Johnny watching showers. Doesn't find anyone. Does find the kill on Solidity, though. And Spike goes down. This is looking good for the Eagles. They got the Spike down. They got their Viper walls up. And they're in a 4v3. Another kill by Johnny. Oh, he can't get off, out of line of sight in time. Diamond and Zato are going to pick up two more. And it's now a 2v2. The Eagles just need to buy time, though. Oof. Are they sticking it? One enemy oh, they can't stick it in time. Frosty with the final kill. And he clutches it out. He's going to probably die to the bomb. Yeah, he does die to the bomb and everyone's dead, but the Eagles take the round. The Eagle's going to be, again, very nearly full buys. Light armors for three. But otherwise, Vandals and Phantoms across the board. The Eagles. Playing real scrappy this game. Playing very good fundamentally. Their aim just needs to catch up with their IQ here. Seem to be playing together as a team. I think, to be honest, this is probably the best that the Valorant team has ever been. 2-0 and on the season. And playing a pretty close game with Averitt so far. Despite Averitt having higher ranked players on average. Who's literally going to find one, but Cornflakes trades him back. Meech finds another through the smoke. Reloading. And it's a 4v3 One now. But Chris Ramos attack. Oh, but he gets a... <gasps> Chris! What was that? A double shock dart kill? Oh, man. I'm so sad I wasn't watching his POV there. Zado gonna find a kill on him, though. But it's still very difficult for him to push up into this. Eagles with three players still alive. Cornflakes tagged a little bit, but not too bad. Watching here. Nice job looking at the different angles. Zato does find a kill on Meech. But Cornflakes finishes him off, and we're all tied up at three here on Bind. Eagle's playing uh, right there with Averitt this game. Cornflakes so far the MVP with six kills, and Solidity the MVP for Averitt with nine kills on the Viper. Let's make progress. Three ultimates available for both teams as well. We've got the uh, Sova ultimate, Meech gun for Chamber, and the Viper pit. Let's see if uh, Eagles decide to use any of those powerful abilities here, but three also available for Averitt. Knives, Sky, and Sova all with their ultimates. Johnny blinds through Hookah. Complex pushes up. Ooh, Diamond gets two, but Chris finds him through the wall. Good job by Diamond getting as much as he could there in a 1v3. And it's a 4v3 now in favor of Averitt. Uh-oh. Chris gets spotted out. Needs to dodge away from the Sova ultimate, and he does so. Nice job. Whipping out that knife. The extra move speed. Chris doing a good job jiggle peeking here. Just keeping him interested. Oh, he comes out again, but gets actually killed that time. And uh, Frosty and Meech, the last two players left alive for the Eagles, are going to teleport over to A site. I mean, honestly, still winnable here for the Eagles if they're able to get the plant down. Up. No, probably not now. Yeah. <laughs> Jasmine James is going to take down. Frosty and Meech with two bullets. Nice shots by him. So they died almost the exact same spot. 
But, uh, yeah, I was about to say that was actually pretty winnable for the Eagles if they were able to get the plant down and then use the Viper ult and then just have their utility buy some extra time there. But need? they're going to be on a save round now. It looks like a full save. Johnny going to have a... Oh, no, he swapped to the Spectre. Just a Spectre for himself. Spectre for Cornflakes, two Classics, and a Sheriff. So this is Averett's round to lose here. Whoa. Oh, no. Jesmond James, a two for one. With the uh, Chamber Gun, the Chamber Ultimate Gun. That is horrifying. You do not want to peek that. If you're the Eagles. Uh, and around all but one now for Averett. They just have to take care of business. Um, they have superior firepower and a two-player advantage. But we'll see if Post is able to uh, get any cheeky kills here. Zato finds one and a second. Meech does grab one. And prevents the flawless, but Everett does kick, take care of business in the end. And it's five to three. The enemy only looks composed. He post with some guns now, though. Going to be a much better round this time. They do need to win this round, though, or they're going to be looking at another save. Frosty still with the Viper fit, Pit available. So I think they really need to commit strongly to a site here. Push up, take the site. Wait a little bit, then throw the Viper Pit down. It's going to make it very difficult for Avert to retake. That Viper Pit's so incredibly strong in the uh, post-plant situation. Take flight. Both teams looking to get some uh, intel as the recon bolt goes out and the uh, Al drone gets blinded. Nice kill by Johnny. Not to Jesma. No double kill for you this time, my friend. Johnny gonna just blind and run away. Looks like they're just gonna try to make a lot of noise here. I don't know if they're actually gonna push up. Mine goes out again. Johnny checking these corners. Not finding anyone. They see Sova back there, and there's the Viper Pit. Hunter's Fury comes out. Doesn't find anyone. Ooh, a solidity. I've got your a nice kill on Johnny, and it's a 4v4. No. A lot of gunfire going down. Chris Harris finally gets a kill. Like I said, it makes it so difficult for the uh, defending team with the Viper Pit down. Zado camping outside the Viper Pit is going to find two kills. Make it three. Tezzy finds the last one. And Averett does, in fact, push through the Viper Pit and get the defuse. And they're up 6-3 now. And Eagle's going to be on another save. Release the tension. Good. Let's go. Full Sheriff Gang coming out for the Eagles. Here. With some good aim, anything's possible. Pick up some cheeky kills to start things off. Grab a couple guns for yourself. You never know what could happen, but Averett, heavy favorites to win this round here. As they will have full buys. Deploying drone. Chris Ram is going to see what he can see with the Al drone. Finds one. Right but uh, they know they have an op to deal with back there. Going to make it quite difficult. Chris sneaking around here, watching for flanks. Is the rest of the team going to be pushing up onto B site? Enemy spotted a. I have to play very carefully here. Ooh, diamond with two. Cornflakes does get a trade kill, though. And is able to pick up the Phantom for himself. where they decide to go with it. It's a 4v3, but the Eagles still had a pretty big gun disadvantage. Cornflakes has a Phantom, but that's about it. They're very spread out right now. Everett's not really going to be sure where they're pushing up. 30 seconds left. Got to plant soon, though. Looks like they are going to commit to A. Standing ahead. 
Corn finds one. Zato finds Meech, though. Corn needs to plant now. Ten seconds left. Ooh, Shock Dart is just a little late. Corn also needs to reload, only has seven bullets left in the gun. Jesse finds one. Corn using the utility to stop the defuse. But Zato finds the kill in the end. And a valiant effort by the Eagles there. Finding two kills. But uh, Averett takes the round and it's 7-3, to three, Averett. Eagles with full buys now. Ten rounds in. Two more to the half, and the economy is reset. That economy reset, really very important in Valorant because one team can be really running away with it. You see two players maxed out on creds uh, for Averett, Zado, and Tezzy. So it really makes it very difficult when one team is constantly going back and forth between saves and full buys. The other team has a full buy every single round with whatever they want. But well, the economy reset gives the team a chance to start the snowball in the other direction. As Eagles getting the plant down, but still no kills yet. It's still a 5v5. Zato finds one on to Cornflakes. Enemy spotted A. Oh, and they peeked out at the same time, and Zato finds both of them. Solidity with another. Frosty finds one, but there's the defuse. Frosty finds a second. And uh, good post round kills. Um, but it's not going to matter. Like I said, everyone maxed out on creds from Averett. But Frosty patting the stats a little bit. And uh, the Eagles with one final chance to make it 8 to 4. Before they switch off and go to defense. <clears throat> Jasma gets a kill on Chris through the wall to start things off. Diamond finds another on Corn. Oof, and Tezzy gets another one that just kills all the way across the map. For Averett. Wow, nice shot by Zada. I think that was a headshot from the op. And now it's Frosty in a 5v1. Trying to prevent Averett's first flawless, and he can't do it. They are going to find the flawless. But. But. Switching the 9 3 curse is real. Let's see if the Eagles can take advantage. If you don't know. 9-3 Curse is a phenomenon in uh, professional Valorant where there have been very many situations where a team has been down 9-3 at the half and they somehow pull out the win in the end. So we'll see if the 9-3 Curse holds true for the Eagles here on Bind. It's a tall order, though, this Valorant squad from Averett is playing extremely well. Three ghosts again for post or pistol round. Good shots by Diamond going to take out Johnny. Really important to take out that duelist early in pistol round. Cornflakes just firing blindly through the smoke. Still firing blindly through the smoke, not finding anyone. They didn't actually get the plant down. Timer's still ticking. Nice kill by Korn. Jesma finds another. Nietzsche is also tagged very low. It was a 4v2.1 right now. Jesma finds another on Korn. Nietzsche extremely low on health. But uh, Ever going to teleport away now. Planted. Frosty still with full health. Which is the classic. Enemy B. Last player standing. 
Oh, Frosty does find one. But this is going to be a very tall order for the Eagles now, down 10-3. to three. <clears throat> And sitting, uh, looking at another save round here, we'll likely be looking at 11-3. to three. And then uh, we'll have to play near flawlessly for the rest of the game to come out with the W. Because grouping S5 on A site, this is very interesting. You usually don't see this from the defending team. Down B. Oh, Jesma finds one. Johnny gets another, and the Eagles just playing completely as a team right now with all these classics. Diamond gets one, Frosty trades one back, Tezzy gets another. And this is uh, definitely going to be advantage. Averett here. Johnny pinned into the corner with just a classic. Going to take a miracle, and it's not going to happen. Zato finds the final kill, and it's 11 3 Averett. Looking increasingly less likely that the 9 3 curse will be real this game. This is really a must-win round, the Eagles. If they don't win this round, then the next round is a save. And uh, they're, they're basically going to have to have, have a thrifty round win. Because they'll be down 12 to 3. It'll be match point. But do you have full buys here? Johnny with the Vandal. Interesting choice not to heal there. thought maybe there were more than one player coming up. If you can find another kill and then grab that orb, he will have Empress available. Which could be key to taking for post taking this round. But like I said, they have to play almost flawlessly here. Johnny's still watching showers. Everett playing this round very slowly. Toxins going up. Ooh, Frosty gets revealed, he's gonna have to hightail it out of there. Down. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds to plan. Everett's going to have to move soon here. Looks like they're still chilling in hookah. Johnny, uh, Frosty, excuse me, finds one with the judge. Only 10 seconds to plant now. And each finds one. Spike down a. And the spike is down. They can't get the plant off. And that's going to be the round for the Eagles. Nice job there from post. Really putting uh, Averitt in a bind. Haha, ha, pun intended. And not able to uh, get the plant down in time. Good use of the utility there by the Eagles. Especially by Frosty. Holding Hookah there for a long time. And finding the kill with the Judge as well. He's gonna hold on to it. He is gonna hold on to the judge, actually. Um, and uh, but Meech without a full buy, that's gonna be very. Uh, it's gonna make it very difficult for Meech to be impactful in this round. He's gonna try to do what he can. He needs to kind of hang back, wait for Johnny or Corn to find a kill here, and then go pick up a gun. Frosty can't see anything. What is he doing? Oh, he was hiding from the uh, owl drone. Off. 
See if they decide to jump down on top of him here. Toxin screen down. Recon bolt hits the back of the site, but doesn't find anyone. Looks like they are going to be committing to B site, though. So there's no noise over by A. Toxin screen down. 30 seconds left. And Averett putting themselves in a similar position that they did last round. Horn finds one, just betrays him back. Meech gonna need to hightail it out of there. You want to play? Let's play. As the uh, plant goes down. It's a 4v4. Meech needs to find a gun for himself, though. Johnny waiting for this blind. Has Empress available as well if he wants to use it. There's the blind. Actually gonna peek out. Doesn't find anyone, though. As he finds one onto Frosty. Chris trades him back, gets two for himself, but they're running out of time. And they're not going to have enough time to defuse here. And it's going to be a 12 to 4 lead for Averitt. Another valiant effort by the Eagles, taking down four. But it's match point now for Averitt. All but have this one in the bag. Frosty also with just a marshal for himself. Oh, looks like he's changing that out. To the bulldog. Interesting choice. Judge wasn't uh, quite working out for him. Meech uncharacteristically silent this game, only six kills. He'll hope to look to improve that on the next map, which I believe is Breeze, if I'm not mistaken. Meech did have a great game on Breeze. Uh, last week, I believe. I've got your trail. Ooh, nice shot by Jesma. Johnny was not expecting him to be on the boxes, and he finds a second kill for himself on Cornflakes. But Meech finally going to take down the opposing chamber. And it's a 4v3 now. Good shots by Meech. Good uh, spray control there. Going to take down Tezzy. 3v3 now. Spike is down on a site. Frosty rotating over. Chris Ram is going to try to push up through the smoke here. It's going to be quite dangerous, though. He's going to get that decay, decay as he walks across. Beacon Bolt does find someone. Ooh, Diamond finds the kill. Frosty finds another, but the knives come in, and that's going to do it. Averitt takes it 13 to 4. Well fought by the Eagles, but Valorant, uh, excuse me, Averitt just had the superior Valorant team this time. Uh, we'll see if the Eagles can come back on map two. Zado, the MVP for Averitt, 21, 8, and 2 on the Jet. Cornflakes, the MVP for the Eagles, 11 and 14. Everyone on the Eagles, though, doing quite well for themselves. Meech got a couple kills that last round there. Everyone on the Eagles between 8 and 11 kills. So very evenly distributed production across the team, but uh, Average just hit their shots, man. They just had a good strategy. Most rounds, they had a really good strategy, and they just hit their shots. And uh, we'll be going to map two in just a few minutes. Chat room not connected. That's bad. But anyways, we'll be right back in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere.
All right, we're back. Going to be heading right into map two here. It's going to be Breeze. Eagle switching things up a little bit here. Uh, it's going to be Cornflakes on Sky, Frosty sticking with the Viper, Chris Rammers on Cypher, Meech on Jet, and Johnny Fuego on Sova. So everyone swapping agents here aside from Frosty. Viper, it's really interesting that Viper Choose was considered a, a really terrible agent when the game first came out. People did not like her uh, smoke uh, mechanic with the toxin level. You have to go in and out. You have to refill it. People really did not like that. Um, but then a couple pro teams started picking her up on certain maps, and then she gradually got more and more popular as the game's professional meta kind of evolved uh, as new agents were released and new strategies were developed on specific maps. But we'll see if uh, both teams can make use of her here as Solidity is also stuck with the Viper. I think it's actually the exact same agents all for all five players for Averett. Uh, Diamond sticking with Sky, Solidity on Viper, Tezzy on Sova, Zado on Jet, and Jesma James on Chamber. So Post decided to switch it up a lot here, whereas Averett, you know what works, and if it ain't broke, why fix it? Chris Rammers looks like he's going to be holding a site here with Meech. Two ghosts coming out for the Eagles to start things off on defense pistol round. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the cheers, Evie. <laughs> Ever yeah, pushing up slowly here, really taking their time. So they are going to be pushing up onto a site. Two kills traded back and forth. Spike is going to go down, but it's a four v four. Planted. Really long range uh, pistol fights here. Buried. Nice shot by Cornflakes. Gonna find Tezzy, but Zato trades one, make it two right on back. His third of the round, and Ace on the table still for Zato. Meets the last player left alive. <laughs> Meets denies him the Ace. Only two uh, shots left. He needs to reload. Can't find the kill though, and Jesma finishes off the round for Averett. But the Eagles take down three. Don't slow down for us. My creatures move fast. They'll keep up. Averett probably going to buy full Spectres here and force up. Eagles going to be looking at a severe firepower disadvantage here in this round. Going up. Viper Wall goes down onto uh, B site. Looks like Averett going to be committing to B, but a great shock dart, silver dart there. Um, it's going to find almost five of them. Nice shot by Frosty. Takes down one, Tessie trades one back. But there's one by Johnny. Kills traded back and forth all over the place, and after the dust settles. Chris Rammer's in a 1v3, but just a classic. Spike planted. Valiant effort by Chris Ramos, but Diamond does take him down in the end and it is, in fact, a 2-0 lead for Averett Zato already with five kills over just two rounds. Coming out to a really hot start. Not missing a beat. 
from bind. But the Eagles now with full buys here, aside from Chris Rammers with just a Spectre. So going to be a much more even round this time. See if the Eagles can uh, put themselves up on the board here. Does get spotted by that recon dart. Dodges the shock dart. Cage trigger. Cage trigger. Owl drone coming up over. He's gonna slip past it. Doesn't find any kills though. Neither does Meech. Still a 5v5 here. Nice kill by Meech. Gonna take out their top fragger. That's a big kill. Johnny finds another. And Meech gets another as the plant was going down. And uh, Averett really fully committed to that site before really clearing it. And they pay the price. Now on a 4v1. Uh, Tezzy, the last player standing for Averett. And the Eagles do look like they are going to, in fact, come to within one here. Just need to push up and take down Tezzy. Any kills Tezzy gets is very important, though. Run out there into the crosshair of Chris Rammers and he finds the kill. We're gonna win. No other options. Let's go. And the Eagles are on the board two to one now for Averett. Knives ready for Meech. See if he decides to use them. He does still just only have the sheriff. So I would not be surprised at all if he pops the knives here. Always better to just use your ultimate, in my opinion, even if you waste it, because then you just start building another one back up. You just Yep, there's the knives. And if you just save it forever, then you never get any value out of it. A lot of people just go round after round after round. They just don't use their ultimates. But not Meech. He's got the knives ready to go. Three left. They know where he is. <laughs> Ever playing very slowly yet again here. Ooh, Crumflex caught a peek there. Left. 30 seconds forever. They gotta commit soon here. Frosty rotating around behind. Diamond finds a kill finally. They finally commit to A site. Solidity finds another one. Just now getting the plant down. Johnny does get the kill on Solidity. Uh, oh, that wasn't their spike planter. I thought Solidity was the one with the spike. Nice blind by Diamond. Going to take down Meech. And now Frosty in a 4v1. Going to be the clutch of a lifetime if he manages to get this one. I want to consider saving his gun here. Does pop out in the end. And Everett takes the round now up 3-1. to one. Uh, Let's see if they're going to have enough for a full buys. I believe they will. Yep, just barely. It's going to be uh, another very important round here. Eagles scraping the bottom of the barrel in terms of credits right now. Right here. So if they cannot uh, win this round, they'll be looking at a save, and then we'll be looking at another 5-1 to one situation. I believe we were almost going to be looking at on bind, but then the Eagles actually pulled out this round. 
We're in the exact same situation. Eagles actually brought it back to 3-3 three to three on Bind, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, and Johnny gets double peaked by Tezzy and Solidity. They take him down together. Nice kill by Cornflakes, though, onto Jesma. Even things up 4 to 4 now. I've got your trail. A lot of Averett players pushing up onto B site. Cornflakes needs to hightail it out of there. He is revealed by the recon dart. Spike going down. Rossi is hidden, though. They don't know where he is. This could be important. Oh, Zato is ready with the knives. Nice blind by Korn. Can only get one off of it, though. Oh, and Meech has to reload. Just grabs another gun for himself, but it's not enough. Good uh, foresight there. To grab another gun instead of having to reload, and Chris Wammers has to go try to defuse as he was running out of time, and Diamond gets the final kill. And it's four to one, Averett through five. Right here. Cornflakes and Chris, the ultimate's available, but right here. the thing with the Cypher ultimate is you gotta get a kill first. And, uh,. Can't find a kill early in the round, it's not gonna bring you that much value. Full save now for the Eagles. Full Frenzy Gang, actually. Headshot. Ooh, Meech. Nice shot there on onto Jesma. Oh, wow, but Tessie with the Shock Dart kill onto Johnny. Sova v. Sova. Let's see if Meech can find another with the Marshall. He's kind of feeling it. Ooh, he's out again for the second shot. We couldn't quite find it. Zato Garrett grabs another. Chris Rammers gets taken down by Tezzy, and now Frosty, the last player left alive. Zato is going to find him. And it's 5-1 to one Averett now. After they take care of business, the Eagles now with a full buy again. This is their round to win here. Everett looking very good on the economy yet again. Eagles need to start winning some rounds here to try to even that out. We're only halfway through the first, uh, first half here. Standing ahead. Ooh, and they've got an op. Deploying drone. But they know where it is at least. Enemy tag. Chris does tag someone with the dart from his owl drone, though. That's good. He comes with some information to play with here. Wow, nice kill by Cornflakes. Long range kill with, uh, with the Phantom. You can see those too often. It looks like they are pushing up onto B site. Jasmine finds a kill on Johnny with the op. And it's a 4v4. Camera taken out. Chris, Chris, Chris's camera does get destroyed. But he did see them coming up. Wow. Chris just knew exactly where Solidity was. Finds the kill, and he he did he did not get the plant down. And Chris finds another one. And Frosty finds another, and the Eagles finally with a little bit of momentum here. Great job by Chris Ramos taking down the spike carrier and making Everett panic a little bit there.
Thanks. Oh, this is a nice spot. This goes here. Yes, this should do. You want to play? Let's play. Still a 5v5, no kills yet in this round. A lot of ultimates being used, Hunter's Fury, Viper Pit. Playing very slowly yet again. Enemy spotted A. Thirty seconds left. Enemy spotted mid. Cornflakes keep spotting someone mid. Does One. find diamond and finds the kill. <laughs> Never only with fifteen seconds left now. You need to commit. Frosty finds the kill. Oh, they did get the spike down. Chris Ramos couldn't find the spray. Had to stop the plant. Jespa finds the kill, but Mish trades it back with the op. Gonna trade it for a Vandal now. He's gotta start defusing soon here. They're pushing up, nice kill by Meech, and that's probably gonna do it. 3v1 now. Meech gonna stick the defuse. Flex coming out. It's literally going to take him down, but Frosty gets the final kill. And the Eagles creep a little bit closer now. Starting to make Arrow feel a little bit uncomfortable. Everett's economy taking a little bit of a hit here. Eagles looking pretty good. With full buys and about 9,000 credits to spare in the bank. Eagles so far have been doing a really good job at identifying where the Operator player from Avera is playing and playing around it. Nice job by Johnny. Finds the kill with a dart. With the help of the dart, but Diamond trades him back. But there's Meech. Jesma stepped into his sight lines. Meta finds another though, and now it's Meech and Cornflakes versus the world. Last player standing. Zado gonna get right up in Meech's face for that one. And Average does a good job peeking at the same time from different angles. And Diamond with his third kill of the round. His tenth of the map. And it's 6-3 Averett. But Meech still with that operator. So the Eagles freed up a little bit here. Need a drop. Thanks. Help, a right? I need this. Meech whipping the knives out for this round. Ooh, can't quite find the kill on Jesma. Cornflakes finishes him off, though. As Chris, uh, excuse me, Johnny pushing up aggressively. With this phantom, gonna grab the orb. 
Rossi with his signature judge. Finds the kill on Solidity. Oh, and another one on Zato. Great flick by Frosty. It's away from the blind. One bullet left. He's going to swap it for a Vandal. Eagles in a 5v1 now. Tezzy does find the kill and prevent the flawless. Ooh, Tezzy gets another. What a clutch from Tezzy this would be. Three more to go, though. And he's running out of time. Know where he is, and uh, I believe they have the location of the spike. Because he's gonna have to try to plant shock soon. Dart. There's a shock dart plus Frosty. Frosty's third kill of the round, doing very well for himself. If you say one of my On Breeze, and it's six to four. Why? Eagles, they still yeah. nipping at the heels of Averett this map, making it not too comfortable for them. Okay, let's get set up. Standing ahead. Ooh, nice kill by Meech to start things off on round 11. Enemy is stunned, but he does tag uh, Diamond. Diamond running away from that one. It looks like the uh, Everett's going to try to rotate around towards B. Down. Well, Everett's still making a lot of noise, A. They're still looking for that kill with the op. Revealing area. Nice kill by Chris Rammers. It's a 5v3 now. Eagle's going to make this map very interesting. Ooh, Solidity finds one with the classic, though. Snuck up on Chris Rammers there, but there's another one by Meech is up. This time onto Diamond, and it's a 3v2. Still winnable for Averett, but uh, Meech has been playing very well with this operator this round. There's another one. His third kill of the round. Dashes away, but can't. Escape Solidity's left. sights. Last and now standing. it's Viper v. Viper. But only five seconds left to plant. And I don't think Solidity can get the plant down in time. And that's going to do it. The Eagles win the round. Last round in the half. Return Last round of the half. And the Eagles with a decent chance to even this up at 6-6. Six to six. Going into offense on Breeze. By Frosty, gonna get a kill on Zato. Watch as Fury comes out, but it's not gonna find anyone. Ooh, Diamond does find the kill on Frosty, though. But Meech is hidden I here. I don't think they know where he is. Let's get stunned up in the middle of nowhere here. Somehow is still alive. Viper Pit going down as well. Stramus finds one through the wall. Eagles need to push up in here, One though. There's Rammers with three on the round. Hornflakes with another, and that's going to do it. <laughs> Chris Rammers, what a fantastic round. And we're all evened up at six apiece. 
Switching sides. <laughs> <laughs> Not even Chris knew how he did that. <laughs> Very good half here. Both teams tied up at six. Heading into pistol round. Eagles on offense now. Literally gonna find a kill to start things off. Actually, rocking a shorty for himself. Oh, Chris Rammers and Jess, Jess Majeems find two kills. And it's a 4v3, but Chris Rammers is tagged. And Tezzy gonna finally finish him off. 4v2 now. Gonna be a very difficult clutch for Johnny and Frosty. Zada with another one, and now it's a 4v1. Johnny in a really bad spot. And Solidity creeping around the corner. That's exactly where you want to be with the shorty. One of my is and it's 7-6. to six. Oh, okay. Averett. I'm going to see if I can keep the stream running here, but I do have to BRB as we set up, we're setting up our league uh, match right now. So you guys will be without a shoutcaster, unfortunately, but I'll leave the stream up. Right here. Right here. Drone. Enemy mark. Standing ahead. Out of charge. Deploying drone. Right here. Hawk out! Revealing the area. Found them. Uh. 
Shot done. Oh, no. Scout destroyed. Pork out. Blinding. Our spike dead. Spike down A. One enemy remaining. Deep breath. Take flight. Watch this. Poor cats. I've got your trailer. Enemy tank. Dealing area. Take flight. Nowhere to run! Standing ahead. Found them. Stop that. Right One here. enemy remaining. You want to play? Let's play.
Nobody's a hero when they're crying for air. Here. 